Hey everyone, it's Neil Barnhill with the Barnhill Golf Institute, helping you find your winning way. Today we're going to talk about a very interesting subject on how to keep your head down. We've all heard it growing up, keep your head down, keep your head down. You still hear it when you play in a group today. Every time you play, you're hearing keep your head down. Well, I'm going to talk about some ideas, some tips, some drills to work on on the range and also some ideas for when you're playing to put into your routine of how to keep your head down. So it could be a mechanical issue or it could simply be you're just impatient and want to look up like a lot of us. We want to see how our end result is. It happens. So you have to have a process or a routine also to help with that. So let's go ahead and talk about a few ideas I have that I work with my students quite often because it is a common problem out there in the golfing world. And I like to start off with chipping. And I like to get a bump, do a bump and run, a, a very short shot. I like to put the weight on the front foot. Feet are close together, ball position inside the right foot because we're going to hit a low bump and run. Okay, and I like to put the hands leaning forward. And then from here, I'm going to ask the student, or what I work on myself as well, is I want to chip it and I want to keep my head down and I want to feel my right shoulder hit myself in the chin. Okay, so here's how it looks. Okay, and that was relatively easy to do. I just gave myself an idea of what to do. But that feel is a great, it's a great idea. And also, what I like to do when I play a competition, I used to do it with my mentor and coach. Back in the day, we, we used to have a fun time with this. And when you first start it, you will not believe how much probably you were off on your feel because it, it is just different for a lot of people. So the drill I'm talking about when you're practicing, for, you can do it competitively, when you're doing it out on the range or chipping is hit, get up, set up to it, let's chip it, but you have to guess where the ball lands and where it ends up without looking, okay? Then you can look up. So here, we're gonna do that. Okay. The ball landed three feet over the fringe and ended up two feet right at the hole. And then I will look. And you can see how close you are to being correct. And if you got a playing competitor and you're doing this, then they can tell you, yeah, it landed here. Oh, no, no, no. Or you were, you were 10 feet off or how close you were. The more you practice this, the more you will become in tune with the feel of the stroke, the rhythm of the stroke, and ultimately that's gonna help you out on the course. Because when you hit it, and you're constantly doing that, that's, that's being anxious, and that can cause you to hit it thin, fat, and you're not staying down on the shot. So this is a great way to practice. It's one of my favorite drills. It takes a little bit of discipline, but hey, that's what's gonna help you take it to the next level with your chipping. Okay, so the next thing, we're gonna talk about some mechanical issues that cause people to look up see this all the time as a PGA instructor I've seen it over, it's probably the number one thing amateurs do when they're starting out they're trying to lift the ball or the weight is ending up on their back foot when they hit so they will hit and it will go this way now notice how my head is this way that's gonna make me want to look up okay so if you're trying to keep your head down and you're leaning back it's gonna hurt your neck it's not very good um, so that's why people look up when they do that. So I like to hit the impact bag and get people transferring their weight so they can feel the proper movement of the weight going into the left side and then they have a much better chance of keeping your head down. So we do a bigger swing. I'm going to put this right in the middle of the stance. Boom. So my right shoulder hits my chin. My weight's in my left side about 80%. Now I have a really good chance of keeping my head down and it works. Uh, also, what I like to use with the impact bag is, I call it my mental training bag, because when you hit a bag, you're not looking for a result. So if we can treat that ball like the bag, we've got a better chance of staying down, because everybody hits the, the bag, they're staying right here. So if I can get someone to hit the ball and do the same thing, just feel like it's the bag, and then go, it, it seems to help quite a bit. It's an easier thought, it's more athletic thought. 
Okay, next one I like. It's a cheap idea here, okay, so, <laughs> but it works, it's another idea. All right, so what I got here, I got a, let's see if you can see this. I got a clothes hanger. I made a loop with it, it's not perfect, okay? What I did is I just broke it off, I twisted around, and this thing broke, or you can take a heavy duty pair of scissors and do this. But what I'm gonna do here, so I'm gonna put this down in the ground. Okay, now when I'm set up, I actually can see I can see the ball through the loop. Now seeing the ball through the loop is the idea. So when I hit the ball, I want to see the ball through the loop. So that keeps my focus more on the ball here. So we're going to hit it here. And the ball, I can see it the whole time through the loop. And I was just, it's an easy thing to do. So that's a great drill. I mean, that doesn't cost any money. Everybody's got a metal clothes hanger. So that's another idea of how to like keep your eyes on the ball. It's also a very good training for your backswing when you go back, not to get off the ball too much or go the other way. If you can see that ball the whole time in your swing, it's gonna keep your head stay, stay still, which is a good thing in golf, okay? So that's another idea. Another one I like to do, and this is part of the routine I was talking about, you can take this to the course. I like a lot of people uh, on the tour, Jack Nichols used this idea, had a pretty good career. As you can, when you're, when you're playing, you can pick an object out in front. I got a ball out here three feet, that's going to be my target line. So when you're playing, you can pick that out for aim, okay, and you can get set up here. And then get your feet parallel to that target. All right, but what we're gonna use it for the head down is what we wanna see here is when you hit it, I wanna hit the ball. But as soon as I hit the ball, I wanna take my eyes and go here and then follow the ball. Okay, so it's gonna go like this. Okay, and that ball went really good, straight. You can see my weight go forward. Just that little bit of staying down look here keeps you down in the hitting zone just a fraction longer and that can make all the difference in the world because a lot of people that hit the ball and they're looking and then their left shoulders up and out that's not good you can slice it thin it fat it all kind of bad things but if i can stay down boom then look it's a great idea um also you can use it for your process like i was saying your routine for lining up just a great drill all right that's some Ideas I've used over the years. Some of them are simple. You can give you some things to work on on the range. And when you're practicing, also take it to the course. Hopefully this helps you out. Let me know. Go to my website, barnhillgolf.com, and let me know how it works for you.